Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be talking about the holiday shop. I wanted to make this video yesterday and upload it as soon as the reset happened, but I got a little bit busy and now it's better late than ever. We still have a couple of days to go. We're still going to be getting more presents as you can see by the holiday rewards. We still got another six days to go. So we are still going to be getting more presents and there is another event coming out and I'm I'm not 100% sure, but hopefully in that event, there will be more way, more ways to get the presents. Now, the holiday shop, in my opinion, is really good. Um, there, It's a little bit overpriced. I'm not sure if we will be able to get it, like get everything or get enough presents. But there is a lot of stuff that you just kind of need to pick and choose. Now, as you can tell, I have already spent my presents. Um, I personally say stay away from the hero bundles um, if you've already gotten them because I know my video is going to be a day late. I apologize, but I know that um, if you bought these, honestly, they're not that great. Um, you do get a hero, a couple of gems, like an essence and stuff like that. It's like a bundle of everything. But I honestly, I stay away from those. I don't think I can get anything worthwhile. Um, potions, if you need potions, get them but honestly i think there's other more important things to buy i know a lot of people that have been saying yo get the orb of xp i just buy those with gems when the pack comes out so me personally i didn't waste any of my presents on that what i bought personally was the gems the 500 gems i picked those up right away because hey free gems it didn't cost me anything to get these presents I picked up a couple of water essences as you can tell um, I really needed them because I'm like all out because I've been trying to upgrade my um, guild versus guild defender lineup so I bought those and I'm gonna be buying a couple of the the wisp shards when they come out and that's pretty much all I've bought so far the gems I think I had like 1.2k presents and I bought the gems and I bought a couple of essences and stuff like that. So my advice to you is since there is a lot and I feel like it's a little bit overpriced, but I would focus on the stuff that you want or the stuff that you need. So if you're focusing on guild versus guild right now, um, try to get the wisp and try to get the wisp shards and try to get the essences if you need them. Um, and if you are focusing on relics or you need the orb of xps then pick those up you know they're really good um get the 500 free gems you might as well i mean i picked it up right away that was the, like the first thing i bought and also um up top here you will see like the like the guild the holiday guild gifts i already bought those but you're gonna see like a weird coin and it says one next to it just tap it you can buy it you already have that coin there's a lot of people that think oh you can pick those up pick those up and trade it with the guild mate swap it five for five and there you go you got more presents and maybe like two three gems whatever it comes in those um those guild gifts so there you ha have it my advice to you is gonna be buy what you think you need i don't i wouldn't waste any presents on heroes or wardens or anything like that these bundles i would stay away i've seen a lot of people post on facebook and a couple of other places like the line app saying that they did not get anything good they wasted a lot of those presents on those um bundles and the and the wardens and the heroes and stuff like that i would stay away but hey if you want to gamble or take a chance um it's up to you but i would personally say focus on things that you are currently focusing on if you're trying to get your guild versus guild defender lineup you know focus on the the car that you're trying to awaken and evolve and power up so uh think of it's uh be smart about your decisions basically so that's my advice to you for the holiday shop um i do want to cover quickly um the bounty hunter and I do want to give a quick shout out. Um, we were doing Guild versus Guild and, you know, we told them Merry Christmas and all that. Merry Christmas to everybody, by the way. Happy holidays. And um, I had I just woke up and I found Vespo. I'm sorry if I butchered your name, 
and um, they said to buy more videos, please. <laughs> and I found that I found that really cool, you know, and I said, you know, I will be making more videos soon. I promise. Thank you for the support. And, you know, he was like, thank you. So, of course, I am going to be making more videos. And I just found it funny because, you know, we won. And, um, you know, he's just like saying more videos. <laughs> I found that really cool. Um, again, I really appreciate all the love and support you guys give me. So what I wanted to quickly touch upon is Bounty Hunter. Now, I'm not really I don't really like Bounty Hunter personally, but I am going to give you guys a couple of tips for your lineup. You want to use four times uh, Bounty Hunters and then depending on the event it's possible to see as you can see right here there's a 10x there's a 7x uh, bounty hunter and another card right here i have this card personally too and i have it up right now but um take those along with you just so you can get the points so regardless of this is my current like lineup i know it's like almost all water but honestly i just chose the best stuff that i have uh powered up and evolved and with the highest you know four times bounty hunter and then i do have a 7x bounty hunter up right now that i'm letting other people use so my advice to you is go ahead and um you know go for the the best option that you have in terms of the bounty hunter points so like a four times or a ten times or a seven times whatever you can find go ahead and use it and take them along with you whether they're in your guild or not um go for the highest possible you know lineup you can possibly get that way you can maximize on those points and just try to you know match everything and go through it um i haven't really been to the celestial floors yet where i heard there's like five stages and like the bosses are pretty hard and they pretty much one shot you because these guys are pretty weak like it's hard to build a nice bounty hunter um deck so what i recommend and what i've heard people doing is that they take like the panda from another event or the frankenstein they basically take a heavy hitting card with them and they go ahead and um they go ahead and use that to basically one shot or almost try to one shot the the boss because they hit you with stacks of fury and that's what people have been doing so they'll go in with like four bounty hunter cards and then they'll add one or even five bounty hunter cards and then they'll take a they'll tag a friend along that has one of those powered up cards and that's what i would recommend that's what i would do as soon as i ever get there if i ever get there because i don't really do bounty hunter a lot i don't really like it it's just not my cup of tea i just do the 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 easy levels i just get the free gems and then i'm on my way i don't really do bounty hunter um this will be like my first i guess guide you can say it's not even a guide it's just like a little walkthrough that i'm doing for you guys but bounty hunter um it used to be so easy and everybody would just run through it but now they kind of made it a lot more difficult a lot more challenging so i don't really know i don't really like it as much anymore before it was a lot easier but now um i'm just waiting for them to do like the the remake of the which they did say in the ask me anything the remake of the the legends the five core legends like Keta and almar and all that i'm just waiting for them to do like a remake of those cards and you know work on their skills and that's what i'm waiting for so hopefully that will you know tune up the power and their skills a lot more to where they're more of a viable option so yeah that's pretty much it about this video this guy's almost dead and there you go so yeah holiday shop you know buy what you want to get and um bounty hunter always try to have the maximum you know times four times ten times seven whatever you're gonna do try to get the maximum amount of trophies and you know don't forget collections and speaking of collections because i did not really um go for the card this event i i just kind of skipped through it don't forget to pick up the presents from here i just picked them up yesterday i completely forgot and i didn't pick any of my uh, any of my rewards up to like yesterday because i'm not even using this um deck i didn't think it was good but 
I mean, if you didn't have a good deck and you kind of, you know, spent on this deck, it's still an okay deck to do billions of damage, but I did not like it at all, and I did not go for it. I just used an old event and just kind of saving my gems for a better event. So that's all for this video. Um, you know, the guild is doing amazing, and hopefully we continue to keep getting better and better. Alrighty, guys. Thank you guys so much for the love and support, and be smart about your decisions in the holiday shop and good luck in the bounty dungeon and i'll see you guys in the next video that guild versus guild video is dropping soon i just i'm trying to cover everything a to z so as soon as i have everything done because none of my videos are scripted i don't script any videos this is just off the dome everything so as soon as i get that done it'll be up on the channel i'm just trying to make it the best guide i can possibly make um and that's all for this video hopefully i'll see you guys soon um tomorrow when the next event uh comes out the next pack and um well you know take it from there Alrighty, guys thank you guys for the love and support thank you guys for almost 500 subscribers you guys are incredible you guys are just amazing i'm literally nothing without you guys thank you guys so much and i'll see you guys in the next video peace